Right now, the sea surface temperature patterns show positive anomalies above normal, both near the international date line and in the far eastern part of the tropical Pacific, near Ecuador and Peru, but not in the region in between, which is where we consider it to be most important and most indicative of an El Nino sea surface temperature pattern. That area is only borderline, but those other two areas are farther above the average, and the one near Peru and Ecuador has actually been impacting their climate quite a bit already, with above normal rainfalls along the coasts in those areas. The original definition of El Nino was focused on that region, not the whole Pacific Basin. So the people who live there are crying, El Nino is here. And they're right, at least for that part. But now we know that the part of the ocean right near South America is only scratching the surface in terms of what we mean by an El Nino, which is a basin-wide phenomenon, the Pacific Basin, all, all the way across.